everybody. How are you? Welcome to this edition of Whiskey at Work. Uh, this is the one where Rob kills Houston. <laughs> it's Mark and Rob, and I'm I'm sorry to to bring this news to you, but apparently we've run out of money here at Whiskey at Work. <laughs> We we don't have the funds nor the resources anymore to to keep the show afloat. Now I understand why you weren't going to tell me what you were going to say in the opening. <laughs> that's right. Uh, you can probably see the bottle that's sitting here in in front of us, <laughs> and why why we're here. no the 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 reason why we're doing this is is because we've 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 drank a lot of bourbon on this show, a lot of whiskey, a lot of scotch. And it's always Thank been God, not as much scotch. <laughs> and it's always been expensive stuff. We've we've tallied up no. before. Well, we've I don't think we've we've averaged anything under thirty bucks a bottle. I mean, average wise, not average. Even close. No, I, no. Okay. No. So don't tell my wife. <laughs> Rob had or, uh, or Dean. He's he's paid for a couple of them. Rob kind of stumbled into something. About a month ago, didn't you? Isn't that yeah, kind of where this a little, idea came from? A little longer than that. Okay. I had heard some good things about Evan Williams, I think is where it started. All right. Which we, I think we actually tried here, did we not? Or did I just drink the whole bottle at I all? think you drank the whole <laughs> bottle. We didn't have anything on the show at all. Thanks all right. for sharing. Uh, anyway, so I saw the bottle at the bottom shelf at the store, and it got me to thinking about how you're struggling to come up with ideas for this since you do all the work and i thought you know what if we tried some of these bottom shelf whiskeys and so i bought the bottle of Evan williams and apparently liked it well enough that i didn't bring any in to share with you, you. Didn't share a drop of that stuff uh, it's good for me <laughs> B- uh, bad for you i guess it was because you talked about it all the time at in the office and and you you never brought any, and it was cheap. Like you said, it was inexpensive. So well, I don't know why you couldn't bring it down. And well, then I went back to get it. another bottle to share with you, apparently. And uh, we, we had talked a little bit, and we and I went to grab another bottle of it, and it turned out not to be Evan Williams. It turned out to be a completely different thing. Wow. Yeah. You've spent so much time I, buying I, bourbon and whiskey that you don't even look at the labels anymore. Well, you just reach down and grab so, some. So the first one was green, a green label. And then the I've heard that they had a white and a black label. And I grabbed the, I don't know, what is that one in there? Is it a black label? So I grabbed the I one that so, was yeah. next to it because I didn't want to try the green one you again. You saw an ease that started and I, and both. I, and, and, it, and it turns out it was an entirely different Got it. Bourbon well, altogether. And so you get to try that one next week. Yeah. Well, let's hope so. And we want to do kind of a series of these bottom shelf bourbons and whiskeys just to see if 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 there's if there's that much of a difference between spending sixty to well, forty to sixty dollars on a bottle of bourbon, or if you can walk into a liquor store and pick up a fifteen. Well, this was twelve dollars, I think. Yeah, it? it was twelve well, bucks. It is. It's cheaper than. It's plastic. Well, uh, it's not gonna break. <laughs> I, need, I needed a snort on the way home. Right. <laughs> you take a pull in the car. No, don't. Oh, it is called a traveler, which seems to that's, be encouraging you to weird. and saying yeah. that it's okay to go ahead and crack that baby on your way home. So we're wondering if a twelve dollar bottle of something like this can be as good as spending as much money as we have spent over the past. Almost two years of doing this show, and so this really is our first, our first ever look into the bottom shelf of bourbons and whiskeys. Yeah, even without being on this show, well, except <laughs> count count high school. Well, do you do you? I mean, do you have stories about that though? Do you do you remember the first time you pooled your money together mm-hmm. to go buy a bottle of something? Yeah, well, I mean. I remember times. I mean, it was always the, it was always the Canadian blends that we went after. I mean, I'm guessing you're in North Dakota. You couldn't be that much further off. Probably not. You weren't no. going out and buying a big bottle of Jack. You were, you were <laughs> aiming for. Well, well you, I remember when we were kids, though. Jack was that. Was, it, it didn't have the mystique no, that it yeah, does the now. Notoriety. I sure. don't think you know. And you know you weren't going for anything with any sort of flavor to no, it at all. No, you you didn't you didn't run you didn't pull the 
pool the money together with your God. friends to have the the 22 year old college dropout you knew in your small town <laughs> run to the liquor store. You know, you were like, okay, we've got we've got eighteen dollars. Right. How, how much <laughs> can we get <laughs> for? Right. We don't want any beer. We want something different. Yeah. And so they would bring back a bottle of yeah. Canadian Mist or oh, Black Velvet. Black Velvet. Velvet. Well, two bottles probably. Probably. <laughs> so God, the, fa- the you bring up Canadian Mist and <laughs> I've got a. All right, let's hear your best Canadian oh Mist story. So in high school, at a Are house. Are going to name names? Not if I want to keep my job. <sighs> All right, dang it. At, a, at, at someone's house that will not either be named. Um, I had a friend, Kylie, who, uh, <laughs> who, was, who was a big fan of Canadian Mist. And the, the, uh, the night generally ended with the bottle being empty and then a contest in the alley behind the house, um, puking for distance. So what would happen was you go out and you draw a line in the gravel of the alley. Well, of course, yeah. And he'd get kind of that. a he'd get kind of a running start. Yeah. I don't. It, well, it was distance. It was like. A, the javelin toss, I guess. I don't know. It wasn't my thing. The hammer throw of, of drinking. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> and uh, he'd get all exercised up and loosen it up, and then he'd take about three steps, and then you'd step it off when he was done. And it was it, it it was not our proudest moment. Do you uh are you are you happy for the friends you have now, Rob? They're the, the same. They're the same oh, friends they're the mostly. Same ones? Yeah. Oh, very good. Right. Yes. Well, that you could do that with cheap whiskey, and <laughs> I guess that's that's you know <laughs> says something about our friendship. It's... Sure. Well, it does if you guys are still together and still hanging out. And are you still doing this? I mean, if you tried to do it now. Ooh, I don't know. We'd have to ask him. I. You couldn't. You couldn't do the vodka. That that now. was never my deal, man. I I will do everything in my power not <laughs> to throw up at any time, day, night, uh... spring, summer. Well, I tell you what. We have been sipping on this. We started, like I say, we, we are technically at work. It's just after 4 o'clock on a, on a Tuesday. Um, the way so to start out the week. We started this about 20 minutes ago, and I, I, I don't hate this by any sense. I, I really wanted to. I wanted it to be like, oh, my God, this really in a plastic bottle? <laughs> I, the first sip caught me off guard. It was, to me, it was really spicy. And I don't know if that was just because it was the first drink or what. But well, after a little smoothing with a little ice, and I mean, I've had a second half pour in here, and it's but it's, does that, it's nice. But does that spiciness come from the fact that it's just a, a, a 36-month-old bourbon? It's pretty young. Is that where that spiciness kind of comes from? Because it hasn't mellowed in the barrel yet? Well, I don't know. We've had 24-month Kentucky straights that have either we've either liked or not. I mean, it only has yeah, to be true. 24 months to be a Kentucky straight. But it, if it's under four years, it's got to be – there's got to be an age statement. Right. On it. Exactly. Huh. Well, maybe – yeah, I, I don't know. I didn't, I didn't get as much of that spice from it as you did. Maybe because I had it – with water initially, and, and that probably cut that out. Might have, I think. But boy, it's it's if if you mix it with some water, it's a super light bourbon and um, economical in these trying oh times. Oh my, is it ever! If you wanted to go pick up a case of that, that's not going to set you back any more than a bottle of you know. I you don't a, know. You can get a case of that or a bottle of Blanton's here. <laughs> exactly, uh, and it's 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 they are but, the same price, but it is a Buffalo Trace a Buffalo Trace product as well. Buffalo, a Buffalo Trice, yeah. Buffalo Trice product as well. <laughs> <laughs> Did the thing there? All right, that was yeah. Slipped right into the. We're that. We're, uh, we're leaving that in. <laughs> um, it's yeah, and there's there's not a lot that Buffalo Trace does wrong right now. They they are well, really on the top I'm, of the. I'm game. a little curious as to why they aren't throwing the hey distilled at Buffalo Trace on here. What does it say for the distillery on the back there? I don't even want to hold that. Can we get so his glasses, uh, Russ? Can uh, get his... I think it uh, distilled and aged at uh, Ancient Age Distilling, Frankfurt, okay. Kentucky. All right. Aged at least 36 months. Well, it's, it's, it's like I said, it's easily approachable if you wanted to. I know. I yeah, said you I said it anyway. It, but I did. Uh, if this is something you wanted to start with, if you're, if you're new to drinking any sort of bourbon, again, this is another one we'd put on our list of bourbons that, I think we'd recommend picking up to try. <laughs> How many of these have we had right now? 
<laughs> we haven't been in the room that long. I think one other reason it is it's is, 80 it, proof. It's a little in, inexpensive is because they put a lot of time and effort into getting the label centered on the bottle. Yeah, they might want to work on the guy that puts the sticker on there. <laughs> No, if that's if that's a thing, but you might wanna might wanna give that a Some product tracing. Sure. This one is this this case is going on a little to the right, so we can tell it's. Are we going to what are we going to do? Are we going to do your Ezra Ezra Brooks Ezra Brooks next I think. week? Is that I the one couldn't, we I couldn't do? tell the difference between the label I and Evan Williams, so I think it's Ezra Brooks. I'll go into your office with you, and we make sure we get the right one. Is okay. that okay? That sounds good. All right, perfect. The uh, the interesting thing about that one is, is, and I sent you this the other night was. The Ezra Brooks Distillery won an award for. Yeah, it was a kind of a big like deal. A, wasn't it? Well, you know, like the Home Slice Whiskey Award, Bourbon of the Year Award, maybe. But I mean, no, it was a real thing. It was in the newspaper. Or in, <laughs> in the newspaper. It was on the online. It was, it was, it was on my. Must have been a real thing. news feed. Uh, okay. But I'm interested now to see what this one tastes like, just because of that award. All right, well, go pick up a bottle of this if you see it in the store. Like I say, $12 is all it's going to set you back. If you and don't like it, give it to your friends. They'll never know. If you if you don't want to, you know, every night drink your $50 bottle of bourbon, go ahead and pour yourself some of this. a lot more of that at my house here pretty quick. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this edition of Whiskey at Work. We'll be back next week with Ezra Williams. Or Ezra Brooks. Mm. Oh, we've drank a, there's a lot of this. Call a call a lift. <laughs> Honey, I'm calling a lift. <laughs>